Geordie Retro Chair says, now we haven't quit. What's up on YouTube? What's up on the internet? Welcome back to Geordie Retro Chair says. Jordy Retro Chasers, we have been absent for about two or three weeks and now we're back refreshed and we've been back out into the wild looking for that retro goodness. So without me shit cracking on as per usual because we have an, an absolute shitload of uh, pickups to look through and we have an absolute storming pickup of the week. So let's get out there. Let's do this now. Let's have a wander around the boot fairs. Let's hit CEX and the charity shops. Let's see what we can find. We'll do the GameCube challenge. See you back here in about... 12 minutes. Here we are on the northeast coast, back doing the old boot fair. Don't think it's going to be very busy this week. Uh, two reasons one, the Great North runs on, and two, of course, the Queen passed away. So, rest in peace, Lizzie. But let's have a little look see, and let's go see what we can find. We really should have an app to track what Hot Wheels have got. He's pretty sweet, isn't he? Let's see how much does one's for him. He's pretty old school, isn't he, guys? Mm hmm. Another kick off the old card game. It's a strange one. I can see him before. Nice piece though. Oh, pretty vintage stuff here, guys. Look at him. The old postman pack play school there. Dated 1987. Our Pedro was only six. Yes, big shout out, Pat lad. Good morning. Pat called. Got the old Pokemon Destiny Dexies. Yeah, I'll take that as well. Pretty decent funk here, dudes. Yeah. Look at Sean the Sheep. Yes, lad. Oh, sweet guys. We've got a now. I think we've got a now. <laughs> Stretch on from there. I've seen that one. Some decent ones there. Well, let's make them I've before, guys. And you can see the control freak. It looks like it is a sort of action replay for the PlayStation and PS1, but built into a control pad. Only a quid, like. Probably not for me, but for the sake of a pond, it might have been worth a pond. In its box, it's in there, like it's just in the most oldest third party controller, as we can see. But now we'll pass, all right, guys. We're up and running for the day. Just picked up a copy of GTA 5 on the old PS4 for a fiver, trades in a 12. He's pretty old school, guys. What an absolute beauty of a piece he is! Cool as fuck, dated 1983. Great piece, great piece. Him guys, he's a bit random, isn't he? No idea. I presume he press his button and he maybe dances or something. Or he's clearly got any batteries in it, like, but big shout out, George Orbins. Yes, lad, he has been emptying for a while. The original trolls. Has anyone ever heard of these when you were young collecting them? Made a bit of a decent comeback, haven't it? I know my little and absolutely loves them. Yes, big shout out the trolls, lad. Alright, Sylvania, please there again, guys. Surprise, Mrs. GLC, I can see him now. Yeah, Sylvania, baby. Uh, give five after the box. Or you can just give an offer to the Wow, he's awesome. Oh, hi. Dad. I'm gonna have to switch the picking up the hungry hippos. It might be time to take a bite of my swim mars. Right guys, I need to give a massive shout out to Callum from Retro Ghetto. The volume of times I've passed up Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is frightening. Your nipples will fall off when I show you what it trades in it. Anyone remember Spring Fever? That's the most 90s box I've ever seen in my life. Any idea what it was? Was it like the cheap knockoff of Twister? This is why you always have a little second row round. How much are your badges, girls? 150. I think we'll take them for 150. Any of them books that you like there? No? No? Nothing for us? Should we move on? It's an old school one. Have you ever played Battleships before, Chick? No? Battleship and Electronic Battleship from Milton Bradley. It's a hit. You've never played that before. Some old school board games here. 
I just wish I knew what the value was, what the fetched, or what we could do with them. But you know, yeah, like, look at that one. Are you on PR Dom when you were a kid? Mad. Oh, me and Junior GRC are looking for old boots. This one seems pretty old, but it's not actually ducktails in it. Is it dated? I don't think it is. Let's have a little look. I can't see a date on it. Should we get this one or should we come back to it? Let's get scared. Are you sure? Should we not wait, keep our money and see if we can find a different one? Yeah, That's not what was game again. It's been here a few times. We actually sold one big shot out then in Paxton. Let's make how much you want to it. There's some old school stuff, guys. I know, I missed you too. Old spectrums, are they? Could you feel those? Nice, don't see them every day at the buffet. Yeah, from the 90s. Yeah. So how much do you want for this, mate? Take three quid for that. Mm, could do three quid. Take two? No, I was going to see it. Well, that's a pretty cool book, guys. I've never seen that before. I don't know when this is dated. Minimum 2005. It's not that old, but it's still a really nice piece. Really nice. There's a system stuff here. Isn't it? How much are your games? Seven. Just before the Formula Premier League. Didn't really get much footage because it was a bit of a scramble, but we just picked up a Venom, I think it is. Thunderblade. And a big bag of figures for, I think it was Falcon, I think. There's a few Gundams in there, there's a He-Man in there, there's a Power Ranger in there, there's a Batman in there. We'll have a good look when we get back to uh, Chase HQ. A lovely conversation with a gentleman who said, I found your YouTube channel, started watching it, so I kicked off the bugger collecting. If you're watching this, buddy, Big shout out to yourself and big up yourself. Guys, talk about a piece of nostalgia. What a setup that was. I remember getting this as a kid fondly. Oh, if it wasn't in better, it was in a little bit of better condition, that would have came home with me. And then again, yes, lad. Anyone remember the Paul Daniels magic kit? Fucking happy days. <laughs> There's a piece of nostalgia, guys. What an absolute beauty he was. When we used to get them for Christmas filled with chocolates. Okay, boo. Still blows my mind that people used to rent that telly. Granada and Radio Rentals. Big shout out Radio Rentals. It's now 29 years since Radio Rentals introduced their incredibly popular rent to buy plan. And over those years, thousands of South Australians have enjoyed the latest in electrical appliances. The rent to buy plan means security, no deposit, just a month's rent in advance, no charge. your radio rental stop. Oh, ain't that pretty old school? What was he for? Anyone tell us what this is for? C64 maybe? I don't know. Tory ST. Boom. Well, that's what's pretty much done at the boot fairs. So, we're going to now do a CEX run. Little charity shop look. And then we've got a special delivery coming soon. Boom. Hello, guys. Just called into the local charity shop and found this little beauty. There's a couple on eBay, but they're all US imports and they're about 25 quid. So I think he's going to come home with a Jody Retro Chaser for six quid. Okay, boom. Here is the cracker box that we've picked up. Picked up Tony Hawk. This was caught slipping for 99 pence in cash converters, trades in a three. All right, buddy. And then, of course, we paid, I think, seven quid for this. I can't remember how much it trades in at, but let's go to CEX. Get these traders, get a voucher, buy some GameCube bits. Boom. Hello. Let's 
take him for 50 pence. Right, guys, here we are in my local CEX Gator Trinity Square. Guys, honestly, if you haven't noticed already, this place is always crammed with some decent retro goodness. You know, we're primarily here to look at the GameCube stuff. But if you're ever passing, just pop in Trinity Square Gated and they've got some absolute beauty. So this is what we've come to look at. Probably, I think we've got Mario Party, got the Resi. So we'll have a little look through this because there's a few in there. I can tell we haven't got that Staff of Dreams. Let's have a look and see, uh, see what we need. Up, like. Nah, that, that was literally the one I wanted. Yeah, it is. Yeah, now we'll see if we can get that fixed. Thank you so much. You're a gentleman. No worries. And you always got to tell you, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, what a ledge. You've made me weak. <laughs> Cheers, babe. What a ledge. Guys, let's get into the pickups because we have quite a few to go through. We'll start with the knickknacks as per usual. Um, that's everything that cost us really from sort of 25 pence to a quid. I just want to give a big shout out to the lads from Easy Traders. Of course, Easy Traders is a local store to me uh, up in Crook, County Durham. And it's run by the two lads, Mick and Lee, who always hook me up with a deal. So big shout out, boyos. So let's see what we picked up off you for this week. In fact, there were more for Mrs. GRC, but let's have a look. And of course, there were some vintage McDonald toys. Let's have a little zoom in of each one now. Voila! Of course, the transforming Big Mac. I think that's a Burger King one, which obviously celebrates the release of the mask. And then, of course, another little knickknack. So, big shout out to Easy Trader, lads. Thank you very much. And a couple of more little things that I seem to be finding a lot of those little toys that used to come in cereal. So, we grabbed these three. First one was a little Rice Krispies Transformer. Okay, boom. And then a little couple of Tony the Tigers. And then continuing on with the knickknacks. Uh, again, these things only cost us a pound each. First one was being a copy of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Little bolo for you. Trades in at eight quid. And what would be a Jody Retro Chasers without a book in the mix? We picked up a little bike of mice from Mars book. We grabbed a couple of VHS. In fact, I'm not sure if I showed one of these on the last video, but I'm going to show it anyways. And the first one, which is actually a charity shop find for 50 pence, is Chucky the Brave. And of course, number two was the Martyrs of the Universe. Dolph Lundgren. Missed this one out of Mrs. GRC's little McDonald's collection from the Easy Trader Boyos. And then to tail off the knickknacks or things we paid a pound for, because everything I'm about to show you after this was more than a pound, was, of course, it was the 1987, I think it is, Morph Annual. Actually, we had two more knickknacks, two more things I paid a pound for. Let's have a quick look-see at them. First one was an official kicker's wallet. No idea why I bought that. And then something that almost made its way into the boot fair pickup of the week. In fact, we'll make this the boot fair pickup of the week. Because the actual pickup of the week didn't come from the boot fair. So we'll hide this in the mix. I've seen this from Mrs. GRC. It cost us one pound. It's dated 1992, still in its blister pack. And that was the Princess Jasmine watch. Nice little piece there. Official Disney merchandise. Not bad at all for a pound. Let's move on from the knickknacks and let's look at stuff that cost us between, I think, two quid and three quid. Kicking us off with these three wrestling box sets. I haven't ran these through the CEX app, so I'm a little bit unsure of what they're trading for, but let's have a little quickly look see at them. The first one is called Heart and Soul, and it's all about the Heart Foundation. Of course, we got a one by the man himself, Brett the Hitman Heart. And the tail us off was the ultimate Macho Man Randy Savage collection. Then something I see quite a lot of, but I never tend to pick them up, which are PC games. And of course, the line it's from, Mrs. GRC, is a massive fan. We all know she's a huge Simpsons fan. You'll have probably seen it in the footage. And that was the Simpsons Cartoon Studio in the big box for the PC. If you open it up, all it has simply inside is the disc. It was just for the box and the artwork. You know, Mrs. GRC has a very large Simpsons collection. Um, you know, in the last video, we picked up that Japanese box set. Um, in fact, I've probably done more pickups for Mrs. GRC in this one than I have for a while. Moving on, uh, we actually picked up an old school game. Um, is it a board game? Does it something that holds a lot of nostalgia from when I was a kid? Absolutely. And of course, that was the boxed Hungry Hippos game. There he is there. Wow, does this bring back some nostalgia? Me and Mrs. GRC and Junior GRC were just going to maybe order some of the balls 
but I'm pretty sure this might be up for grabs at the Northeast Fret Road Den Fright Fair. We've only got about two or three pickups left to go, so let's keep pushing on. I picked up this, which of course is the Venom, I think is it called Thunderblade. Um, from the mask series, we paid four pound for this. Lady wanted a fiver, um, got it to knock a quid off. So let's have a little look see at what that is, because he is still MIB, and Mrs. GRC lost her shit when she seen it. And he was the Tommy Time Bring Along Sing Along tape player. He is dated nineteen eighty seven, um, so he is mint in box. Will we keep him? Possibly. You know, we tend to like to collect. The stuff like this that is still MIB. Pick up, I'm going to need some help on. Um, I've tried to run this for eBay. I've tried to find it online and I couldn't really find anything for it. Let me know if you can help me out with the valuation or where it's come from. Um, he was actually a charity shop find. Uh, I think he was about six quid, so not too bad. And he was the boxed Frodo figurine from Lord of the Rings. And just a little thing we found uh, um, at the boot fair were these official Nintendo Link badges. And then time for the pickup of the month, pickup of the year, pickup of the week, pickup of the day. You name it. Honestly, this has made my week. So I need to give a big shout out to a gentleman called Mr. Paul Clark. As you'll know, um, not far from Gateshead, there is the Metro Centre, which is or was Europe's largest indoor shopping centre. And that is, is where I went as a child to buy many a toy and there was the biggest Toys R Us you've ever seen. Now we all know Toys R Us unfortunately is no more. Um, and I knew if you looked through the window, you could see a few little bits that were still in there. I emailed, I rang, I checked the website, I checked with the Metro Centre, I checked with security. Not one person could tell me how or why or what it was gonna take to get inside that derelict Toys R Us. Fast forward four years, and they've started to demolish it. And a gentleman called Mr. Paul Clark, can you believe it, found the signage that I've been after for four years in the skip round the back. Now, we had a chat, me and Paul, um, and he very, very kindly donated me this. It is the official opening time sign from the window of Toys R Us. Yes, it's definitely seen better days. It's a little bit blistered and it's, a, you know, it's a little bit worn. But this was the actual piece that I was trying to get out of Toys R Us. Paul got the um, thank you for shopping six foot banner Toys R Us, which he's kept for himself. But when I, you know, he posted this on a group and I said, I've been trying to chase that for absolutely months. Paul was so kind to send me a message saying, look, buddy, I'm not greedy. I'm not going to keep two. Why don't you have one? What a gentleman Mr. Paul Clark is. Big up yourself, brother. And that pretty much does it for the pickups. Of course, we're still on with the GameCube Challenge. If you're a first-time viewer or a first-time subscriber, uh, the GameCube Challenge was I am trying to collect all 310 UK PAL GameCube games before the 31st of December 2022. We've added another four to the collection this week, which just about tips us to just shy, I think, of 150. That would put us about 44 to 45% complete. Of course, I always imagine that would be the easy part. It's the next sort of 50% that might throw up a few issues, but we're gonna crack on and we're gonna keep trying. So let's have a look at the four we grabbed. Kicking off with TAF 2, the Staff of Dreams. You got a beautiful jaw, um, number two, I can't remember what it's actually called. Ready to rumble. Then we picked up Rain of Fire, never played this. And then we picked up Fire Blade. That's it, guys. That concludes another episode of Geordie Retro Chasers. If you haven't already, do me a huge favour. Our channel is starting to grow. Um, we've been on just over a year and we're just shy of 500 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, watching me in my spare room, standing talking shite about old school toys. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. Take it easy. See you on the flip side. Peace.